Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne and it's a prophecy for Stephen. Um, it's sometimes uh, difficult to get into the prophetic and uh, today uh, is uh, one of those days. Um, but uh, we'll just start with a word of prayer. Lord, um, bless Stephen and uh, lead him, move him, uh, create the steps uh, that he needs to take uh, in order to fulfill your will, mould him into the person he needs to be. In Jesus' name I ask. Amen. Um, I see a long road, Stephen, um, and uh, the road stretches out and there's many roads that come off this road. Um, sometimes as the road stretches out, the roads that are coming off the road seem just as big and this is like the story of your life um, that uh, you've been traveling along a road which is God's will for your life but sometimes you've come across roads that are just as big and been diverted uh, going along those roads assuming that that was the road that God had for you. Um, if you take just the size of the roads, the size of the decisions, sometimes as I say uh, the decisions, uh, the roads seem to be similar and uh, so it wouldn't be uh, hard for you to make the wrong decision to go up the wrong road. Um, it seems that uh, you have regrets uh, in this situation, you have regrets that uh, sometimes you've made the wrong decisions with life and uh, gone up these wrong roads and there's this uh, want or need in you uh, that you want the Lord to be able to direct your paths. It says scripture in scripture that righteous man's steps are ordered by the Lord and um, a, a man knows his uh, future but the Lord knows uh, which way to guide him. Um, the Lord says don't worry about the decisions you've made in the past and the directions you've made in the past. Uh, uh, they were made with a free will choice and they were made with honesty and uh, there was no deception in the way that you went and in different roads that weren't uh, optimum for him. Um, he wants you to know that he's a God that can direct people and, and uh, guide them back onto the right path and that you are on the right path right now. Um, we get a picture of a city um, and um, it's a large city and I feel that um, it represents uh, a place that you, you might be going. Um, I, I think uh, there's some city in your future. I, I, I don't get any specific message from that. Perhaps the, you're thinking of going to another city, um, that would be an explanation of uh, why the city is there. Uh, only you would know uh, why it's there. I'm not give, getting given uh, more information. Um, Jesus wants you to know that he's pleased with your, uh, your commitment to him and uh, your honesty about that commitment. Uh, so many people um, uh, are not so much worried about their commitment to the Lord uh, that, that their commitment to the Lord is just uh, part of their life but not the sole focus of their life and the Lord is happy with um, the attention that you pay to your relationship and the work that uh, you put in in your relationship uh, with Him and uh, He's especially happy with um, the way that uh, you pray for other people and you care uh, for other people when you hear of a need and you apply uh, those needs to prayer. Um, you, you want answers uh, to a couple of niggling questions. Um, uh, the idea of uh, that city going to another city is an answer to one of those uh, niggling questions. Um, and. Uh, I hope that uh, you make the right decision uh, in order to uh, go to that city uh, and do what the Lord wants you to do. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, I hope that this has helped you. Um, I pray that uh, um, you found some answers in what I've said. Amen.